Hello friends, welcome to Insights Icon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about global stock take. This particular topic is related to environment subject. So before we discuss further, first we will check the syllabus mapping, then we will go to the video components. The syllabus mapping is, this topic is related to Gender Studies Mains JS Paper 3 that is conservation of environment and in this video components are this global stock take report why it is in news we will discuss obviously and about the global stock take reports and where it was mentioned and according to which agreement this has to be published we will discuss about that and how it is related to Paris agreement then what are the key findings of this report and what are the recommendations and what kind of positive recommendations it given and what kind of you know like uh, negative recommendations you know like what are the challenges regarding the climate change we will discuss and, fi and finally we will discuss about India's NDC targets nationally determined contributions what is the meaning of that we will discuss then we'll, we will go to the India's initiatives to achieve its NDCs what kind of initiative India taken for example we upgraded the vehicle standards from Bharat stage 4 to Bharat stage 6 like that even we are encouraging the ethanol blending in crude oil so these are these are the initiatives to reduce the greenhouse gases those initiatives also we will discuss and what is the impact of those initiatives so this is about the video components okay now let us see why it is in use first for the first time okay the global stock take report this was the first report published by the united nations climate secretariat who published this this organization published now if you know where is this secretariat is present okay try to comment students where is this secretariat is present united nations climate secretariat which location it is present okay so there's the published which report first global stock take report actually this report is all about it is related to paris climate agreement in paris climate agreement we signed on one clause that clause is saying about this particular global stock take report what is this global stock take report is all about global stock take gst global stock take report is all about all about implementation of implementation implementation of paris climate agreement paris climate agreement and what is the status of implementation how effectively we are implementing the paris climate agreement whether we are able to reduce the you know like climate change the temperature increase below 2 degrees centigrade or below 1.5 degrees centigrade compared to the pre-industrial level or not so it is all about the status it is an indicator of the paris climate agreement this global stock take is all about where this is present this is present in the article 14 clause 1 of the paris agreement it is saying that this report is designed to take stake take stock so this global stock take report is all about about what implementation of the paris agreement how effectively we are implementing as well as the collective progress towards achieving the agreement okay, what kind of progress we achieved in terms of paris climate agreement so it's all about status of the paris climate agreement now let's see what is this report is saying goals of the paris agreement you know students paris agreement was a result of cop 21 you know that in the same cop 21 india and france together we announced the establishment of international solar alliance in paris climate agreement countries decided that we want to reduce the temperature increase okay below the two degrees centigrade compared to the pre-industrial level or some countries they pledged that they can limit their temperature increase below 1.5 degrees centigrade compared to the pre-industrial level for example during the pre-industrial level if the temperature is around 14 degrees centigrade now they would like to limit the temperature within 15.5 degrees centigrade this is what okay so this is an ambitious target generally two degrees that is the target majority of the countries agreed upon if they achieve 1.5 degrees centigrade that is very good to achieve this every country they set certain targets these targets are nothing but what nationally determined contributions that is known as ndc 
India's NDC, we will discuss. In COP21, Paris Climate Agreement, we decided about certain NDCs. But later, we revised our NDCs in Glasgow. That was COP26. That was in the form of the punch. Okay. So, punch agreement. You know, like our Prime Minister was talking about. These are the five terms. In, in five ways, we revised these targets in the Glasgow COP26. Panchamrut, we can call it as. Okay. Panchamrut. Yes. Now, I got the words. These plans. Which plans? This Paris Agreement ambitious target they will be reviewed for every five years and the update about the Paris Climate Agreement implementation that is about the global stock take positive findings so what now we will discuss about some of the positives which are given by the this global stock take report and negatives positives positives is about this Paris Climate Agreement motivated so many countries to reduce the greenhouse gases that resulted to out of 194 countries including the 193 countries they are implementing this agreement and not only that majority of the countries they are positively implementing the nationally determined contributions so, so that means re in really in reality also they are implementing the measures to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions improvement in the projected global temperature rise you know actually if we would have not implemented the paris climate agreement the global temperature would have been increased to average of 3.7 to 4.8 degrees increase compared to the pre-industrial level by 2020 2100 actually 2100 but now it is red, it is confined only to the 2.4 to 2.6 degrees centigrade only that means we will able to limit the rise in temperature only within 2.4 to 2.6 that means before pre-industrial level if the global average temperature is 15 now it will be confined to around 17.4 to 17.6 that's it not more than that this positive development is only due to the implementation of the paris climate agreement then negatives actually because of this development in the pa paris climate agreement countries were able to reduce around 2 to 3 billion tons of the carbon dioxide by 2030 but actually how many million tons of carbon dioxide we supposed to reduce we supposed to reduce around 20 to 23 billion dollars billion tons of carbon dioxide we have to reduce but instead of the 20 to 23 billion tons we able to reduce only the 23 2 to 3 billion that means how much gap the gap is around 20 billion carbon dioxide emission still the gap is there that means still we are living with the reduction of this much carbon dioxide and to meet the paris climate goals obviously we we should able to reduce the global emissions at least 43 percentage by 2030 compared to the pre-industrial level so then only we can reach the net carbon net zero by 2050 that means so now we have to reduce at least compared to the pre-industrial level the carbon emissions have to reduce at least 43 percentage by 2030 then only we will reach the net zero by 2050 but if you go by this level to reach to the net carbon zero it takes much time that is what it is saying that means there are clearly there are a lot of shortfalls it may be due to the funding gap or it may be due to the lack of technological transfer and all these things next recommendations of this report what kind of recommendations are given elimination of all unabated fossil fuel like if you are not controlling the release of greenhouse gas avoid those kind of technologies don't use that kind of outdated one for example there are certain thermal plants which are releasing the untreated emissions untreated emissions that means they are not having the carbon capture technology so we should not use that those kind of things should be phased out second one enhance the carbon sink that means we have to encourage the forestation as well as we have to decrease the deforestation and the land degradation because a land is also one of the major carbon sink and agricultural practices which are releasing the greenhouse gases those practices have to be abandoned they should not be used and enhance the access to climate finance so many small underdeveloped countries they require finance developed countries have to pool finance so that these countries can access the climate finance like loss and damage fund recently cop 27 summit 
we discussed about the loss and damage fund finally it was drafted and signed on the loss and damage fund but there was no clarity about how much the fund would be and which country contributed how much and how the countries will access the money from the loss and damage those are still unanswered areas next india's ndc targets in 2021 in cop 26 our prime minister proposed the panchamrit in this he was saying about five things we have five ambitious target we would like to achieve india will increase the non fossil fuel energy capacity to 500 gigawatts by 2030 and out of entire energy 50% of energy will come from the renewable source by 2030 and the projected carbon emissions will be reduced by 1 billion tons from 2021 to 2030 in between that much amount of the carbon emissions will be reduced then by 2030 reduction of the carbon intensity how much 45 percentage and india to achieve its target to net zero by 2070 these are the panchamrit here you can see in 2015 we announced these targets and we revised this in the cop 26 why we revised because we are going to achieve these targets earlier than 2030 there is a reason we revised our targets to achieve you know like net carbon zero and all these things and even government of india proposed the national action plan on climate change this national action plan on climate change it including the eight core areas to be focused and by focusing on these areas we can enhance the you know like we can enhance the promotion of climate friend friendly measures as well as we can reduce the greenhouse gas emissions eight core areas and uh, government of india also took some other initiatives such as bharat stage emission norms recently government of india we upgraded ourselves to bs6 norms so that our emissions are reduced next India support to EV. India is supporting the global campaign on electric vehicles such as global EV30 at 30 campaign. That is about by 2030 at least 30% of the entire vehicle should be electric vehicles. India is supporting this campaign. Next reforms in transport sector. Fame faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicle scheme and voluntary vehicle scrapping policy. That means old vehicles they can they can be given to the government and they can get certain incentives under the scrapping policy and they can get new vehicle at less discount i mean less money international solar alliance you know that india india involved in certain global climate initiatives such as international solar alliance program life and we also discussed about the coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure and recently global biofuel alliance these are the four climate related campaigns which india is leading next hydrogen energy missions like promoting the green hydrogen and a reform achieve and trade scheme it is about in whichever the industrial areas where they use a lot of energy in those areas we are implementing the renewable energy that means it is a mechanism to incentivize energy efficiency in the energy intensive industries so in whichever the industries they are using a lot of energy there we are encouraging the energy savings so these are the initiatives of government of india next challenges in ensuring the climate justice these are the challenges these international agreements are not binding in nature still there is a shortfall in the climate finance and the common but differential responsibility that means both the developed and developing countries they have to show the different responsibility and that is not properly implemented by the developed countries impact impact the impact of the global stock take reports actually in the recent g20 summit all the countries unanimously agreed that it is a time to take action on the climate change for the first time all the countries agreed that we have to increase the finance we have to increase the finance to reduce the climate change and the developing countries they need at least 5.8 to 5.9 trillion dollars before 2030 and at least 4 trillion dollars per year for clean energy technologies that means that technology transfer that much amount of the fund required by 2030 so that we can achieve the net zero level by 2050 so these are some of the challenges and what is the way ahead the way ahead is this report is expected to be a guiding light for the next cop 28 which is going to be held in uae this is about 
weigh heads yesterday's video question the central belt of the silk and silk road economic belt project it consists of it consists of central asia and west asia this is the components next today's video question the four per thousand initiative sometimes seen in news is related to which of the following which of the following it is related mains question what do you understand by intended nationally determined contribution indc which is frequently used at climate change comment on india's indc which recently announced this is the mains question as we reach to the end of this video we will revise once quickly in this video we discussed about the global stock take report and cop 21 and what is the nature of the cop 21 and the outcomes of the global stock take reports positives and what are the challenges and we also discussed about india's indc intended national develop nationally determined contributions and india's panchamrit also we discussed and apart from this recent g20 meeting and it's emphasized on the climate change so this is the detailed analysis regarding the global stock take reports